Okay, hello everybody. Uh, my name is Sudhir Voleti and I am going to uh, walk you through uh, how to run the factor analysis uh, Shiny app in R. Under the assumption that you have installed R in R Studio and the assumption that you have access to uh, uh, the Shiny apps list that I made, if you don't you can go here to this uh, site and uh, copy paste the contents onto a you know a new R script uh, page in R Studio. Okay, let's basically get here. So when you do that, this is what you will get. Yeah, I want you to run line 17 to 19, which basically say factor app. Select it and press run and it will download install the libraries needed and open the app itself as a window click on open in browser and what it will do is open this as part of your browser why should you open it in a browser well you can download the example file save it to your local machine somewhere and uh, use it I've already saved the file so let me read it in big five survey data is the name of that example file and when you load it in big five it's five factors so I'm going to force this to be five factors now let me walk you through the uh, output tabs here this is the uh, input sidebar these are the output tabs so you have a correlation matrix the 45 variables and about 185 rows so the correlation matrix will be 45 by 45 and then you have a factor loadings matrix 45 variables 5 factors basically the numbers which are very small loadings which are very small are hidden but uh, it is a 45 uh, by 5 matrix here and we also see that the cumulative variance of the 5 factor solution is 35 percent which means that the factor solution explains 35 percent of the total variance in the original data set so about 35% of the information content in the original data set is, uh, is uh, retained. This is the uniqueness vector, 45 by 1 vector. The higher the uniqueness score, so 76 is higher than 36, means that this particular variable is more unique, is, not, is less explained by the factor solution than this one and then there is a model fit criterion 7 is the optimal number of factors we are following theory and going with 5 this will automatically select the number of variables okay a few other tabs that are there this is the loadings matrix for uh, 45 variables 5 factors so it's a 45 by 45 uh, matrix it's the same as the one that we saw in the summary tab and you can see that the very low loadings are also populated here you can go to scores and this would be 185 rows in the original data set times five factors that we have here so each of these rows basically summarize the 45 responses of each respondent that were there in the original data set the next three tabs are plotting tabs where we are trying to visualize at the factor solution so there are 45 variables each of them are these nodes represented by nodes the edges between any two variables uh, green would mean a positive correlation red would mean a negative correlation thicker the edge higher the correlation that's basically it so what this is showing me is that there are five distinct coherent groups that seem to emerge from uh, from that uh, massive 45 variable data set that we had uh, I can also put in well there is a you know so there is this guy with no correlations I mean I have put a threshold if you lower the threshold you will get you know maybe some if you increase the threshold you will find fewer of them and so on yeah <clears throat> factors versus variables the so factor 1 versus factor 2 this is the uh, these are the axes I can change them so I can put them as factor 3 instead and this will change and so this is showing me how the variables relate to one another uh, each arrow is a variable and uh, the closer two arrows are the smaller the angle between them the more correlated they are okay uh, well 
factor scores represent location coordinates in factor space of each respondent and so what you're seeing here is basically factor 1 versus factor 3 uh, these are each of the people there I and mean, these are their monikers and you can see them here okay the last tab is just data it's just the data that was the original matrix itself yeah so with that i can close this one now